Hi, I'm Susan Kellner of the Ontario Pesticide Education Program and I'm here to go over Chapter 21, Keeping Pesticide Records. There are just three slides in this presentation and it will take us about uh, three minutes, two minutes to three minutes to review. Okay, so let's get started. At the end of this lesson, you should be ready to describe reasons to keep records, list the information to record about a pesticide application, list the information to provide in writing to farmer assistants who use Class B or Class C pesticides. So we know records are important. Unless we document what we do and um, keep track, um, we don't have a good understanding of what happened in the field. Our memories are not as good as they used to be. Uh, what information should you record? Well, there's um, a pesticide application record in your manual and we can go over that. And you can use that sample record keeping page or you can create one of your own. There's certainly many electronic um, computer applications now that you can use to record your information and you may be using one that's uh, really good and efficient for yourself. But anyway, don't trust your memory. Write it down. We're talking about when and where, location of the field, the date and time, who was the applicator, who was the assistant's name, their contact information, crop, growth stage, growing conditions of the crop and the pest, the pesticide, so write down the PCP Act registration number, the group number, the pesticide rate, the adjuvant, uh, maybe the earliest harvest date, uh, restricted entry interval date, equipment, sprayer application rate, um, the nozzle classification you use, the nozzle type, the travel speed, nozzle spacing and pressure that was used that day, pests, um, the threshold perhaps, um, why you went in on that particular timing, uh, scouting details. You uh, might want to document a lot of the weather, the wind speed and the direction at the time of application, the temperature, relative humidity, soil moisture, even um, you know prediction of rain would help if you had that written down. Sensitive areas, if our sensitive areas are located close by, um, did you observe a spray drift buffer zone where you required to observe a vegetative filter strip? So writing that down and your actions and result to protect the environment in that way. So any uh, other comments you can think of, lots of things to write down and um, keep track of. I would like to mention that written instructions for assistance is a requirement under the regulation uh, in Ontario the, for indirectly supervising the assistance. So that is one case where um, written instructions are required and uh, must be kept at the application site for the assistance for the mixing and loading and applying of class B or C pesticides. In addition to that, of course, uh, be available immediately by communication and be present within a reasonable time to respond to an emergency uh, if that assistant needs help and needs to call you. There is a page in the manual for um, the written instructions, uh, writing down the farmer assistant name, the certified farmer and phone number, the farm location must be left with the um, farmer assistant, and then the amount of each pesticide to add to the tank and the amount of water, um, the location, the date, the start time, and the finish time of that application, Tr any tractor or sprayer settings that were used, and then also wearing um, clothing, protective clothing equipment for mixing and applying. Uh, if, if those are indicated on the, um, on the record uh, for pesticide safety purposes for investigation later, signature of the farmer assistant and signature of the supervising certified farmer so that you have proof that uh, these directions were relayed and, and reviewed with the farmer assistant. Okay, that's it for record keeping.